This is Tony with Deco Network, and today I wanted to go over uh, one of the more asked about concepts in Deco Network, and uh, that is the store commission. Um, with the uh, pricing in the decoration in industry, uh, it can get pretty complex, and with all the options that you have within Deco Network, you can add a whole other level to that complexity. Um, so we get a lot of questions on this, and I'd like to make this uh, video as kind of a commissions 101 to uh, break down and understand uh, each aspect of the commission uh, area. Uh, we'll go slow, we'll use nice round numbers, we'll go over several scenarios, and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a full understanding of how store commission works within Deco Network. Okay, so we'll begin uh, at your standard commission rate, and that's listed in your websites. And then when you're in there, we'll go to commission settings and standard commission rates. So your standard commission rate is your default commission rate for all of your websites. Any new affiliate stores that you create will, uh, will use this commission rate that you have set here. So for my standard commission rate, I've set it at 20%. So all of my sales uh, for any of my affiliate stores are going to get a 20% commission rate. So let's look at a sale and see how it's broken down here. I'll open up my business hub and I'll just do a quick test order here. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and save this. Okay, so this product here is $20, so that's what it's going to take the commission out of. Now, in your business hub and in order, you can look at the commission rate right here in the financial details tab. So, for this particular order, I have a product that's $20, and if I'm taking 20% of $20, that equals $4, and that's what you see here. Uh, so, anything uh, that I sell, it's just going to take 20% out. So you'll notice that we have the total, we have the commission, but it also says this wholesale price and it says $16. So let's look and we'll see how this wholesale price is calculated. To look at this further and see where that price comes from, uh, we'll use a handy tool uh, within Deco Network. And where we'll go is if you open a product and you go into the pricing, uh, we can go to show store pricing and this is going to break down the pricing for us so we can understand uh, where these numbers are coming from a bit better. So if I have a blank product and I add a decoration cost to it, it brings me to my customer retail price. So this is what uh, I'm selling the item for uh, on uh, my, uh, my store, my main website. Now if I have affiliate stores, uh, I am considered the wholesaler. I sell products to my affiliate stores who then uh, mark them up and sell them for a commission. So this markup and commission goes hand in hand with each other. So you'll notice that we had the store commission set at 20%. So if I have it for $20, the commission's uh, $4 to my customer. Uh, it comes to a wholesale price. So this is the price that I'm selling uh, my product to the affiliate store who can then mark it up and then they get that commission amount. So this goes hand in hand. So if I have uh, $20, which is my product, 20% commission, uh, that comes to 16. So you'll see this goes hand in hand by uh, marking it up 25%, which is $4. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. And now what we'll look at is uh, what happens when you override the commission on a store level. Okay, so let's say I have many stores, uh, many affiliate stores that I'm paying out a commission to, uh, but everyone's situation is unique and I may not want to have the same commission rate for every single store. So let's see what happens when we uh, override it at the store level and change the commission rate uh, on a store-by-store -store basis. So we'll go to our websites and go to the store that you want to change. 
we'll click manage and then down here in administration we'll go to store commission settings and here your uh, these this box right here is is keeping the standard commission rate so to override it I'll go uh, I'll uncheck it and on this one I just want to do 10 percent so I'm overriding the commission rate and I'm making this store only uh, the commission rate at 10 percent so I'll save it and then uh, before we go to the business hub uh, we'll just have a look at the product um, and see what it looks like in the product pricing area okay so I'm gonna go back to uh, the product pricing and I want to use this show store pricing feature again so what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm selecting the store uh, that I'm changing or that I changed the commission for and we'll notice that the store commission is 10% and the store markups at this 11.111 repeating uh, to get to that uh, that 10% number so remember the markup and the commission go hand in hand so the markup has to be a certain percentage to uh, make that commission rate come out right so let's just break it down on the math real quick just so we can be on the same page here so it's twenty dollars minus ten percent makes that eighteen dollars so the markup to get it to that twenty dollars that the customer is selling it at uh, that's at the that one point one 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 percent which is eleven point one 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 repeating and it comes out to that it'll round up to twenty dollars okay so the question is uh, what happens when uh, you're not running uh, the affiliate stores uh, for your affiliates but you're letting your affiliate uh, run it how they like and then they affect the markup uh, to change the commission rate uh, this is pretty common and we're going to look at it uh, together and see how this works okay so we'll go back to the uh, the website settings uh, that the affiliates gonna look at so uh, let's say the affiliates browsing around a site and they go into the price settings and he says uh, you know I'd like to make a little bit more I, I want to make more than 10% uh, on my commission sales uh, I'd like to make a lot more actually uh, let me mark my my uh, prices up 50 percent and I'm gonna make 33.33 percent commission uh, now you might be thinking uh, I don't want that to happen because I don't want to pay my affiliate 33 percent of the sale cost I'm gonna lose money uh, well that's not how it works uh, let me show you um, how the affiliate can mark up uh, the price to whatever they like uh, while you still retain that same price and you don't lose out uh, uh, on your product price so let's have a look I'm gonna save this and remember this markup right here so 50% markup 33% uh, of the price here so let's go back to that product and I'm gonna refresh it here and let's have a look at how that price breaks down I'll go to pricing I'm going to choose my store again okay so you'll remember the the affiliate marked it up 50 percent uh, to get a higher commission rate but here in the store commission uh, that price is still 10 percent so that wholesale price is still 18 dollars uh, so you're not going to get any less than 18 dollars uh, whatever your wholesale is for this product uh, but the customer uh, is still going to get that higher price that uh, they wanted I'm sorry the affiliate not the customer the affiliates gonna get more uh, like they desired so again uh, we've mentioned how uh, markup and commission go hand in hand so on that commission level that uh, was overridden uh, so it was 10 percent and he marked it up 50 percent so do you remember how we looked at those settings were at 50% uh, markup, which is 33%, which, will he, which is what your uh, affiliate will receive commission-wise. So let's run the math on that, and we'll have a look here. So it comes to 27 uh, after it's marked up, 
And what's 33.33% of 27? Is that $9. So that's what the commission is right here. Uh, so I hope this is starting to click for you and see how everything works um, when it comes to the uh, commission rates. Okay, now we'll discuss referral commission. So a referral commission is uh, if you have a site uh, that is, you display this, uh, create your own store button, and affiliate, uh, affiliate stores are signing up through other affiliate stores, uh, you can give them a little bonus for each uh, sale that's made uh, on the corresponding store. So let's have a look here. Uh, if I go back to uh, websites and then standard commission rates, uh, I can set a standard referral commission, uh, and here I've set it for 5%. So you can set it at a percentage level, or you can set it on a dollar amount too. Uh, so for this one, I've just set it for 5%. So let's have a look here. Uh, if I go into the Business Hub, and I'll just do a test here. Okay, and then I'll save my order. And we'll look at the financial details and see how that breaks down. So it doesn't affect the store commission uh, that the store is going to receive. Uh, it's just going to throw a little extra uh, commission to another store. So let's have a look. Financial details. So this store is still getting the $4. However, it's giving a 5% commission to the store uh, that that new affiliate signed up through. Uh, so this is what that referral commission is for. And I'll also note... Uh, that just like with the uh, store commission, you can override the referral commission on a store uh, store by store level too. Uh, in the same place, um, uh, let me go back into it just a moment. So if I want to override uh, the referral commission, uh, just like this, I'll go to administration, store commission settings, and then I can override this keep standard referral commission rate. And if I want to change it from my standard, I can change it to whatever I want to uh, right, in the, right in here. Okay, and lastly, we'll talk about uh, the affiliate transaction fee. Uh, so the affiliate transaction fee is a fee that uh, you can deduct from a commission uh, to uh, compensate for fees that you might incur, like payment gateway fees. Uh, so let's say I want to set this to uh, 1%. So I'll save that, and then we'll just run another test order to see what that looks like. Okay, so I'll create an order real quick here. All right, we'll save it, and then it'll break down that commission for us and show us that new commission with that affiliate transaction fee applied. Okay, so I'll open up financial details. Okay, so our store commission is now $3.96. Uh, the sales commission was $4, so it shows you what it was before the affiliate fee. And then it takes it out, and then 1% of that commission is $0.04. Cents. Uh, so the affiliate transaction fee uh, can cover some cost for you uh, if you choose to charge this. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a better understanding of, of commission now, uh, and I hope it was helpful. And should you need anything further, just feel free to reach out to us at Client Services. Uh, we're always here to help you, and uh, take care.